inspiration can be found in many places, and it was here at Amy's Bread in New York City that we fell in love with their semolina bread with golden raisins and fennel. And in the test kitchen, we turned that into our new favorite cookie, a cornmeal chocolate chunk cookie with raisins and fennel. So let's get started to make this delicious cookie. And it starts with the fennel. I've toasted a tablespoon of fennel seed in a skillet just until it starts to turn a little bit brown and you can really smell the fragrance. You want to be swirling it around as it cooks over a low flame and it'll toast right up. So this goes into a spice grinder because we want it powdery, not chunky in our cookie. Give this a whirl. Okay, nice and powdery. So this is going to go into the mixer. So I'm going to mix this right away with the butter and sugar. That way I'll really get that flavor incorporated into the cookie. So I have one and a half sticks of room temperature softened butter and then one cup of sugar. Okay, let's get this mixing. You can already smell that wonderful kind of floral fragrance from the fennel. So you want this to beat up nice and light. It'll probably be about three minutes to really get it really fluffy. Then we're going to add one egg. We'll just break it into the bowl. It's always good to break the egg into the bowl and not straight into your batter because you could get a little piece of shell in there. Just add this right in. Okay, now for the dry ingredients one cup of all-purpose flour, two-thirds of a cup of a medium grind cornmeal. This will add a really great texture and your cookies will be nice and golden yellow. One teaspoon of baking powder, three-quarter teaspoon of a coarse salt. Check my batter, make sure it's everything's off the bottom and mix together. So this is the whole batter and now we just need our add-ins. I'm just gonna stir in five ounces of a coarsely chopped milk chocolate, three quarters of a cup of golden raisins. And that's it, that's the whole batter. I always like to do a little final mixing of the dough by hand, because you can see there's still some raisins and plumps, so I'll just mix it together one final time with the spatula. Okay, this looks beautiful, so now we can scoop it right onto the baking sheets. I'm going to go get those ready. So I have some parchment lined baking sheets ready to go, and I have a one and a half inch ice cream scoop, but you could also just use a tablespoon measure and just do a big heaping tablespoon with the dough. You can make them whatever size you want, but I find that this size works really nicely. So I'm just going to scoop my dough. This will make about three dozen cookies of this size. You just want to space them about two inches apart because they will spread. You want to make sure you get a little bit of raisin, a little bit of chocolate in every one of your scoops. So you want to bake these until they get golden brown on the edges. You want a nice crisp edge to these cookies. It'll take about 15 minutes in a 350 degree oven. So the cookies look great. They've cooled for about 10 minutes on the sheet and then I move them to the rack. You can serve them warm or they'll last like three days in an airtight container, but they probably won't last that long. Once you try these, you'll realize why they became an instant hit in our test kitchen.